Underground, I'm Noob Knife and I'd like to welcome you to Crusader Kings 3. Today we'll be playing Ood of Anjou or the Robertine Dynasty. So the Robertine Dynasty was the parent house of the Capetian Dynasty to which was the, the one of the longest royal families in Europe. They were the parent house of the, Bo the, the Bourbon, the Valois, the Orléans of Kings of France. So very, very prestigious family in France. Uh, so we are the Count of Anjou, but we have ambitions for the Duchy of Anjou, which is currently uh, currently controlled by our half brother Hugo. He is um, not the rightful uh, rightful claimant to the Anjou. We are so uh, yeah, we definitely be working towards gaining that 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 um, that power. By defeating our uncle, the, uh, our half brother there. I keep calling him my uncle because he's 30 years old, whereas we're like 10. He's quite some years ahead, uh, older than us. Anyhow, so let's have a look. So we have some issues to deal with right now. For one thing, we're not endorsed by our bishop. That's not good, but uh, can we can we deal with this? Uh, I can't sway him because I'm too young, I think. I could um, could appoint him my... Uh, my physician. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's uh, make him my court physician. That uh, that's gonna help with the the opinion, but still not enough. Not completely anyway. We are lacking knights. The bolt here has eleven prowess, which will make him a lot better in uh, in in uh, you know tools and such. So let's hire the bolt here. We can also uh, negotiate some alliances. So Duke Conrad of Upper Burgundy, he's my half brother. We definitely want an alliance with him. Gain 10 stress because we shot. Oh, that's not good. Oh well. Uh, and Count Gulf, I guess, of Lum in in Germany. I guess he's my half brother. We've got a lot of half brothers. Okay, everywhere. But yeah, we might as well get an alliance there. Uh, we're not gonna get an alliance with our our half brother in Anjou because you know we want to fight him, the Duke Duke Hugo. So we're gonna ignore that. We can marry our way our family members, which we are gonna marry Bertha here to King Arskel Macdumnagel of Strathclyde. Oh god, that's a mouthful, Jesus. But yeah, that, so he's a better kingdom. He has yeah, he has a thousand men. That's gonna be great. She's gonna gain some prestige. He's gonna gain some prestige. Everyone's happy. Especially me with Alliance. Um, and who is this? Judith. Judith, my dear. You can go off and marry one of these guys. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Felix to de Lacan. Lacan, I guess. I don't know. He's Sardinian. Orthodox. Sure. Get that Alliance for me. Speaking of uh, spouses, we should get our own one. Is there anyone worthy of such a, such a alliance, such a marriage? We have Uta here, who's got quick, which is a congenital uh, trait, which basically means it's inheritable. Uh, that's a really good one. Oh, Eudokia here has got genius as well as quick. So yeah, maybe we should. She is orthodox, but Ud here will convert her for sure. Let's send that proposal. And uh, let's see. So we got Bussy. That is actually a good childhood trait. That could lead to ambitious and such, I think. I'm not sure how all the traits work, but generally speaking, when I have Bossy, it turns into like ambitious and all that. And we don't we we really want ambitious because Ud here has ambitions to become the king of France, or at least his dynasty on the throne. Not the Robertine dynasty, no. We are planning on making our own cadet branch of the Capetian dynasty for sure. We are shy, so our diplomacy is going to be um, neg uh, negative due to that. We have plus one learning, uh, hostile scheme resistance, and opinion of shy. Not the best trait, but I'm sure Ud here will develop the uh, the the, um, the confidence once he uh, grows stronger and he's used to everything. He's calm, which is actually quite good. He's not going to be a very dreadful character. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We got a ton of claims here. The Duchy of Anjou, County of Turan, and a ton of more counties. But these press claims, so press claim is basically an inheritable claim, as in your heir will will have it, I believe. We, if you, we can always check this, though. If we hover over it, press claims are considered legally strong and are inherited as unpressed claims by the children of the claimant. 
Yeah, so basically these stay, these become unpressed when you become your heir or your son or whoever, it transfers. But once it's unpressed, it goes away. Unpressed claims are legally tenuous and are not inheritable by the children of the claimant. However, unpressed claims become pressed if they are used in a caster's bell to declare war, even if the war ends in a white piece. So yes, yeah, so if you want to keep a claim and you, like before you die, declare war, even if get a white piece, if anything, just get it pressed so you don't use that, that, that claim. Of course, some claims are stronger than the others, like the Duke, the, the Duchy of Anjou. Alright, we have sent our. Okay, we want to send our our bishop to uh, get a a hopefully get a claim on the Duchy of Portois over here, and we do want to move around some of our our chancellor, well, our council, should say. So Thomas here, you're not good enough. Sorry, my friend. We're gonna switch you out for Thibault, but then we're gonna switch Thibault to become our. Uh, right? Do we want to? I mean, he's pretty good in intrigue, but he's also really good in in. In uh, Marshall, he is a uh, skilled tactician. Strong. Alice, par oh, he's paranoid. <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll leave that for now. I think we're fine in these current positions. May Sigismund, you keep you become my Marshal and stay my Marshal. But the first thing we really want to do after all this is wait. Do we not? Oh, we do have to all the knights. It's just we have to wait for it to tick. We don't have a lot of men, but if we unpause it, there we go. It takes. Okay, perfect. We are in line for a lot of counties, but it's fourth, so it's not really direct inheritance. So eh, we're probably not going to worry about that too much. Uh, all right. First thing that we really want to do is declare one the Barony of Vendome. We have a good claim on them. And we definitely want to gain strength so we can fight our half brother for the Duchy of Andrew in the future. Let's go press our claim on the uh, on the uh, Dutch, uh, not Duchy, sorry, the County of Vendome. He is inferior to us, of course. We have uh, Thomas here leading our forces. That's great. And everyone's accepting our betrothal, our alliances, our our marriage proposals. Yep. There we go. We're, at, we're gathering strength to fight our 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 half brother soon enough. They're gonna retreat out of that's fine. Honestly, I'm not afraid of this war. This this is simple as unless they somehow had a, uh, a stronger ally. Ah, I completely forgot. So to our our west here, we have uh, Count Hastening on Montague or the Hastening the dynasty. So this guy, he killed our father, Robert the Strong of Anjou. Yeah, he murdered him in battle. I guess you could say slaying him in battle. So we really want to avenge our father as he is a rival. He's also, uh, yeah, we're evil to him because Catholicism is evil because he is a, a Astraru, which is a unreformed Norse faith. Uh, but it looks like the king. Oh, sorry, no, the Mon- so Hastening is invading the Kingdom of Aquitaine, but of course the, uh, the king is going to defend his vassals from outside forces, and, uh, yeah, he's going to beat back Hastening. I feel like he a bit more, uh, he, yeah, a bit more than he could chew. Let's go finish off our, our enemy, adversary, in this battle. So yeah, this will be more than fine, we probably could have got uh minimize our losses by just sieging down the chateau and done but let's just get this battle over and done with and the victory is ours there we go let's enforce our demand we gain the county of vendom and the barony of chateau and done dude here is growing he's gonna be a powerful powerful vassal indeed we have got uh, over our domain limit but we can't give any away because we only account so if we give one away they'll become a vassal of our our liege which is our half brother the duke of anjou so that's not what we want at all uh powerful vassal demands council position baron jocelyn of chatundun uh i mean you can you can um you can trade alan for the uh the steward we don't need alan he's um he's just a peasant really we are already 10 years old, so we've got about 6 years or so. We're about 16 years old is when we come of age. That's when we'll start gaining our our stronger traits when we come of age. 
We can declare a few wars, which is versus King Lothar, the second of Lothringia. We're not going to do that, of course. It's only for measly claims uh, of Ulm, I think it is. Or is Ulm... Where is Ulm? Ulm is somewhere over here, right? Uh, it's somewhere in Germany, I think. Uh, so anyhow... Um, Let's ignore that for a second. We are for also got a war. It's a holy war on Count Icening. We don't want to declare one that we're not strong enough at all. We are going to get try and get claim on Portier uh, Sorry. What else are we? What do we need to do? Once we make a, once we come of age, we can make our cadet branch the Capes. We also got we got a physician. We don't want to kill anyone. We have a guest here. Me and Olqua. I've. I guess. Folk? I don't know. Folk, I guess it is. Oh, he can... Think. Oh, we have a Republic? The Republic government is an unplayable government from where an elected... Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if they differ from Crusader Kings 2. So, for reference, I only have about 140 hours on Crusader Kings 2. So, I'm not really the most knowledgeable on Crusader Kings 2. So, this is more of a fresh experience for me. Oh, we should disband our yeah. army. Let the uh, men go back to their families while we uh, wait. We need to get the uh, the prestige so we can declare war on our our liege, Duke Hugo. Because otherwise we'll become disgraced. And we don't really want to become disgraced because we'll lose one of our knights. And everyone will just dislike us uh, more. Which is not great. Still not endorsed by our bishop. Uh, can we pay him off? No, we can't. Not right now. Let's go to four speed for now. So, Ud here just needs to come of age before he can uh, start his conquest for France. Alright. Hopefully, we can get the claim on, on, on the duchy. He is good enough, right? Yeah, 11. So, basically, the, strong, the higher the learning skill of your bishop, the, uh, the better side effects there is. So, for example, claim on duchy. So we can possibly get a claim on them. You have to pay for it, of course, and it's more expensive. But you get them to claim on the tire duchy, which is great. Uh, as I look upon our young lauderer walking by, sweetly with the with labour, but a blush on her cheek, I am entranced. What is this feeling? This longing? Girls are so fascinating. We realise you are heterosexual, so he is uh, discovering himself, as it were, discovering uh, what uh, what people, what uh, what sex he. Uh, he prefers and we are into girls oh uh, okay not much we really have to do right now so we're just gonna wait until we uh we got that prestige going okay Greetings, Count Ud of Anjou it's become clear that the suffrage and bishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the county of Portier, Portier shall I say do not think that this is kind of, okay. So Duke Bernard is not happy with me. Well, you know, you know, I deserve the claim. Just saying. Who deserves it all? We have got a martial focus, my martial education focus, but oh, really, I thought my intrigue was higher than that. Interesting. Yeah, our stats aren't great. Well, I me, mean, I don't know. We are only 11. We haven't came of age yet. Our prowess is terrible though. Oh, here we go. While passing through the streets, we came we came by the pillory. A man was stuck there, begging for water or any kind of relief from his fate. So we can become arrogant, which would give us a pres ooh, prestige monthly. I kind of like that. No. Dude, I kind of feel like with Bossy, he would become arrogant as well. But you, he's also calm as well. Are calm people arrogant? I don't know. I don't think compassionate. Uh, that's plus two diplomacy. He's virtuous to Catholicism, so he gets more piety or callous. I mean, compassionate. He's calm, compassionate. He's bossy, but he's, he's shy as well. So I feel like compassionate makes sense for Ud. So let's gain compassionate. We also do get uh, the virtuous to Catholicism, which gives us more piety. Uh, it does lower us our, lower our intrigue, but increases our diplomacy because we are compassionate. But you know. It kind of makes sense because he is calm. Uh, he's calm and compassionate. 
What? Why? How? There is never a quiet moment. My brother Robert um, is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help but get exhausted by the constant stream of thoughts and queries. Let's see. So, we, uh, Robert. Oh, is he a cabe? So, there is a house of cabe. Oh, interesting. Well, it's a fake cabe. We're going to make the real cabe dynasty. Um, yeah. A secret exposed. Count Megan Hard of Zutpen has accused my sister Countess Eversa of having an extreme, extra marital, uh, extra marital affair with my cousin Count Herpold. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? God will judge these sinners. Yeah, how dare my sister just just uh be, uh, sleep away? I guess I couldn't think of the word then. My sister Countess Everelsa has been showing, uh, showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought her, that her husband, Count Meganar, was the father of the child. Now it has become clear that the real father to be is none other than Count Herpold. If only it could have been say, could have stayed a secret. Oh lord, our sea sister has got a scandal. Okay. Now how much prestige was it for the, uh, what, well, two, ah yeah, so it's 225, so we're about... 90 yard prestige away. Buy him. Otherwise, we don't we'll go to disgrace, which technically is not the end of the world, but I'd rather not. Let's see, my sh oh, my sister's died. And I've gained 20 stress. Did someone kill her? Her husband killed her? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, she wasn't a daughter. Wait, has he married someone already? Yeah, he has. Yeah, she was an adulterer. So, I mean, I guess technically I can, uh, I can forgive Megan Hall because he was, he was betrayed by his wife. Uh, yes, we will join the war. Why not? Uh, we haven't got a sheriff. What? Can't, uh, can't we? Oh, some more lack of sheriff. Oh, that's not great. All right, let's continue then anyway. Religious corruption, lack of sheriff, that's gone, that's great. I count, f I caught physician's knowledge has grown. Nice, he's gained some learning. Awesome. So we can, uh, our thinking of, should I say, our army, we should get some light footmen and some bowmen. So men at arms are basically your trained units of the uh, of your army. They're your, uh, not elite, but they're a lot more, they're a lot better than your levies. I'm out playing when I hear it. It is a slightly sound, frail and scared. I look all over, under every stone and every corner, behind every bush, and finally I found it. A small puppy all alone sits between two rocks. Well, it's oozing pet dog now. So the pet dog, what does that give us? It gives us one diplomacy and one prowess. That's always nice. Oof. Don't wait. Okay. That's great. So we're going to go with Shadow. Why not? Uh, our procedure is going up nicely. Uh, greetings, brother. For years, my skill in subtlety and observation has served me well, and it occurs to me that this knowledge may also be, use of, be of use of you. To you. I will be happy to share what I know in order to gain your favor. Mm. I'd rather gain the prestige, honestly. Yes, and now we can fight our brother. Can we, though? Let's slow it down. He has no allies, so I feel like, yes. Let's go. To war. Let's become the Duke of Anjou. Let's call in our allies. Call in our allies. Petty King article. Uh, our, our friend here in Calig Cagliari. And Count Gulf of, uh, Gul Gul uh, Count Gulf of, mm. Oh, God, these names. Uh, they're, 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 getting, they're getting me, okay. So our men are rising up. We have, we have the claim because we are the rightful Dukes of Anjou. I do like the models though. Look at these models. Oh, they're really nice. Uh, and they look, you know, more, they're more tiered up, the more uh, quality, the, like based on the quality of the army. Let's, uh, let's uh, rush this army. Can we reach that? No, they're going to be uh, able to get past us. I don't want to fight in the... No, I shouldn't fight in here at all, but you know what we're in. We're locked in now. To victory! Uh, let's see. Oh! 
The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met Count Hastening. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has, fate has smiled upon me and brought that brash curl to his grave. What did he, he died from his wounds? Yes! Our, our rival has died. Slayer of our father. That's always great. So who's it now? His son. We should fight. Our, we, we will avenge our father on, on his family as well. We won't stop until his family is, is just been put to the sword. Beard here is uh is very passionate about avenging his father. Yeah. Oh, this was not a uh, not a great victory for us, but you know, victory nonetheless. Yeah, we will come for you, Ragnar Heisen, son. He's quick as well. Oh, interesting. He's quick. Wasn't his father quick? Yeah. Oh, no. His father is no longer here. All right, let's see. So we're third in line now for all the duchies. Let's have a look here. Technically, wait, oh, okay, yeah, so we're, yeah. Technically I'd have to kill all these two for them. It's not worth it. Wait, is it all of them? Who is this? Oh, maybe we should, maybe we should try and do something about that. King Alfred. Oh, wait. Alfred has become the king of uh, of Wessex. Did his brother die then? How did his brother die? Unknown oh, no, Oh, wait. Which one? Uh, this is the right one, right? Hunting accident. Oh. Well, you know, if it helps, King Alfred uh, Elfwoodson is uh, insanely good, as you might expect. 23 diplomacy, 23 martial, 21 stewardship. Four intrigue, but he is honest, just and uh, he's also injured. And but 20 learning, God, Alfred is a great king. So we would like, I uh, will have to keep an eye out on uh, if it, uh, West, uh, Wessex becomes uh, forms England and uh, continues his uh, growth. We are, uh, um, we have got a missing uh, Marshall. I guess, oh, Fibble is still alive, but I guess Thomas was it? Has sadly perished in the battle. Uh, we will, we will, we'll have a feast for him. We'll have a feast for every every man who died in this war to, become, to get us to become the Duke of Anjou. How old are we right now? 15, so we're about to come out of age. And we're also about to come in the Duke. Perfect timing. Yeah, I've got like no prestige, but that's fine. That's fine. Our allies here are pushing on and going uh, to finish off our, our brother's armies. There we go. Nevers has been captured and we're about to capture their capital. Perfect. And it looks like we are victorious. Go. We force our demands. We claim to get the Duchy of Anjou, and we gain some fame and some and some prestige. To my liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to the bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. All right. So they. So our brother now becomes our vassal, and we become the Duke of Anjou. Perfect. We're just about to come in of age as well. Okay. We can ransom this guy. Who says, no, nah, let's ransom him for a favor, I would say. I don't need 10 gold. I want a favor. I want a weak hook over my uh, over my brother, just in case he he tries anything first to me. There's no factions against uh, Ood right now. But, you know, who knows? He demands a position. He demands something off me. Well, you know, fine. Do I do really want to make him my spy master. I mean, I a point in my. Is already considered. Okay, it's because the. Because uh, I'm trying to make some. There we go. I feel like it's a bad idea doing this, but you know, he doesn't hate me that much at least anymore. That's fine. Hopefully, he doesn't try and you know kill me. Uh, Shadow, the troublemaker. My Marshal Mayajon I approach me, rage in his eyes and dark in his hand, drag, dragged along by the scruff of his neck. As he reaches me, I see that it is my dear Shadow he is holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed to bits was covered in excrement. Uh, okay, she's just a dog though. No. Whoops, I'm sorry, Jean. But you know. Okay, so... The next targets are basically just gathering our strength. Maybe go for the Portois. Maybe uh, the Duchy of Nestria, Nestria or, or 
Normandy, I guess. Or we'll just see. We, we do want to grow strength. We need going the strength so we can go for that uh, independence, maybe. And then f maybe for France, you know? Um, I don't know. We need to get our independence eventually, though. Oh, unwelcome attention. Alex has been pestering me for a long time. She has, been, uh, she has everyone believe, and she is a saint, but she mocks me relentlessly for every tiny mistake I make. I cannot get her to stop, no matter what I do. Who the heck is this? My niece? And she's bullying me? She's bullying Ud of Anjou? Wow. I didn't know that would happen. Jesus, I mean, I mean, um, bullied by, uh, by my, by my four-year-old niece. Okay. <laughs> oh, my lord. Yeah, I mean, come on, Ud. Be a man. Oh, I should disband my army now. Yep, let's disband my army. I'm wasting gold for no reason. Uh, we can declare war, but we don't really want to. Just, like, I don't know. We actually should just like declare war on the counties, uh, so we can just gain some more strength. I do want to declare war for the Anjou, the Duchy of Anjou claims. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to that. Soon. Uh, I finished my education in arts of warfare. Despite everyone's high expression, I did not achieve much, and my results left a lot to wish for. As I take my several steps into adulthood, I find myself remi reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact of the man I have become. The thing Alex put me through as a child still weighs heavily on me, and every time I see her, my moods is sort of sour. Ah, uh, oh, sh! Who we became a misguided warrior. Oh god, that's not great. But you know, that's fine. We should get married anyway. Accept that proposal. Duchess Eudokia of Anjou should demand her conversion to Catholicism. There we go. She is now a Catholic Greek. Great. Uh, we probably want to get that prestige, honestly. We're mega ne negative. There we go. But yeah. One last thing to do is now create the cadet branch. Now. No, 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 no. We are the true Capetian dynasty. Let's just change that. God bless me. God bless you. God bless everybody. It has become a habit to walk to Shadow daily, and I am not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and the sun the most. Shadow bounds ahead and looks back at me, and a box as if to say, catch up, and on we walk. That's uh, gave me walking dog for a couple of years, I think. Uh, what year is this, anyway? Yeah, for quite some time, actually. Ten years, is it? Yeah, Jesus. Why are we walking a dog for ten years? I don't know. Who knows? But fair enough. That's game us a uh, medium health bonus. All right, so I think this is the the end of today's episode, and uh, I will release a new episode on. So this will be releasing on Tuesday. So this will release on Thursday, and another one on the Sunday. So uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, see uh, where this takes me. So have a wonderful night, and well, have a wonderful rest of the day, and uh, I will see you next time.